Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines for November 23rd. A standing committee at Seoul Metropolitan Council has passed the city government's plan to slash 8.8 billion won from TBS's budget for 2023. The Media Foundation relies on the city government for 70% of its annual budget. And according to TBS, Seoul City government's proposed budget of 23 billion won won't even cover the basic overhead costs and employees' salaries, let alone create radio and TV content. The final budget approval will be made in December. And just last week, the city council passed an ordinance to cut all of its financial support for TBS beginning in January 2024. Kim Yo-jung, the sister of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, harshly criticized the United Nations Security Council for holding a meeting on Pyongyang's recent intercontinental ballistic missile launch. In a statement issued by Pyongyang's official news agency, Kim accused the council of turning a blind eye to South Korea and the U.S.'s carrying out military drills and reinforcing military force aimed at the north, saying that it is clearly applying double standards. She warned if anyone disputes the North's self-defense right, her regime would take the toughest counteraction until the end. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development lowered its outlook for Korea's growth in 2023 to 1.8% down 0.4% from its previous forecast. The OECD cited uncertainties in the global economy, which would lead to a contraction in Korea's exports and analyze that despite the country's recent recovery, inflation will influence private consumption down the road. The OECD also maintained the growth outlook for the global economy in 2023 at 2.2%. Finally, Seoul City government has conditionally approved gatherings for street cheering at Gwangamun Square for Korea national soccer team's World Cup games starting tomorrow. The national soccer team's official supporters group, Red Devils, have vowed to station 300 safety guards to prevent accidents, in addition to the city government increasing its own safety guards by four times. City authorities will temporarily shut down bus stops near the square before, during, and after cheering events and operate additional subways and buses after the events. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, Economy Tutor.